What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name is Cody. Let's go ahead and get started with this problem here. Uh, it says, what is most nearly the force at member DE? The structure is in equilibrium. And it gives us answers in kips there. We see our diagram here. We have a, a truss problem. We have a roller and a pin. Uh, so we know, <clears throat> we know just how we need to attack this problem here. Well, I am going to use... Uh, the method of joints on uh, on D because it's one member DE. So uh, the, I guess the first step we need to do is we need to draw our forces. So we have a Y force at D, and then we have a pin at C. Okay, so we have our forces there shown up. Uh, so now what we need to do is we need to make our cut for our joint. I'm going to make a cut right there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and draw node D. Okay, and so we have a member coming down that is going to be FDE. Sorry about my handwriting there. Uh, we have a force going up, that's DY. Okay, and then we have uh, a force going in or out. We're going to go ahead and assume it's going in, uh, and that is going to be force CD. So now we know that the structure is in equilibrium, so we can use uh, any three of our equilibrium equations. And if you don't remember what that is, <clears throat> we have a sum of forces in the y equals zero. We have a sum of forces in the x equals zero. And we have a sum of the moments equals zero. Now we will have to pick uh, where we want our moment to be done or completed at. So uh, let's go ahead and do sum of forces in the y right quick. So we have, whenever you do sum of forces in the y, um, you're, you're focusing on just node D. So in this case, we have an FDE uh, in the negative direction. I forgot that, sorry. Negative FDE, because it's going down, plus DY, okay? And uh, we're not even going to worry about uh, X because ultimately FDE is not at an angle or anything crazy like that. If it wasn't an angle like this, let's say, we could use uh, sine, cosine, you know, that type of stuff. But uh, that doesn't apply to us. We made it easy, so uh, we're going to go ahead and move forward here. So now we're at the sum of the moments. So we have to pick a spot where we want our moment to be pulled from. I'm going to use node C for my moment, and the reason why is because that's going to cancel out the most forces in my moment uh, that will be used for the moment. So it'll make sense here in a sec. So I'm going to use this node here. And if you don't remember what a moment is, it's force times the perpendicular direction. So in this case, we're going to have 6 feet times dy uh, plus... Let's see here, 6 feet times, oops, see this is a minus, minus, and the reason why it's minus is because of the first hand, or the right hand rule. So if you don't remember, this way is positive in the way of moment, uh, or at least that's the direction that I will assume is positive. You can make whatever you want positive, but this is the way you can remember it, and it's the right hand rule because if you're laying your hand like you're writing your pencil or something, or you're writing using your pencil, uh, your thumb's pointing up, and so whenever your thumb's pointing up, your hand is curling in the direction of a positive moment. So that's an easy way to remember it. You have 6 feet times 8,000 pounds, and make sure that you write down your units. That's a big deal, because uh, ultimately, I mean, we can look at our answers here, and they're in kips. So we know that our units are going to be very valuable to us uh, towards the end. So now we have a, we're back in the positive here. And we have 16 feet times 1,600 pounds. Okay, so go ahead and solve for dy there. I ended up with 3733.33 pounds. So let me write that down here. 3733.33 pounds. Okay, so now we can use this and plug it in right up here. And so we end up with f d e being equal to dy and the whole crowd shouts 
FDE is equal to 3733.33 pounds. So our answer is in kips. If you don't remember, uh, there's a thousand pounds in a kip. So in kips, we're looking at 3.73 kips, and that is going to be right there.